Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery. Anthony here, and today I'm gonna to take you on a little adventure. Uh, I have an idea in mind, and yes, that idea is building a bow vise. Now, I like to save money on things, so uh, this is gonna be completely DIY. I have an idea in my head, which is kind of scary, about how <laughs> it should come out and should look. So I'm gonna take you on this little journey and uh, you know just you know how I came up with this idea and why I am doing it and uh, who knows maybe uh, this setup will come in handy for somebody else out there or you know knowing the internet you guys will definitely uh, refine my idea and make something far more spectacular than what I could you know put together on my own uh, with that though we're gonna go head to the shooting shack and I'm gonna show you you know what I'm trying to do and try to just lay it out for you. I got my bow out there so I can give you a good reference. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so uh, here is the table I am talking about. Of course, it's, it's filled with uh, you know, targets right now, but uh, we'll just toss them aside. And what I'm looking to do is to build a, I guess a stand that's gonna be kind of like a vise and it's going to be sitting on here because I have one major problem. And that major problem is when I go and take this bow here, of course it would help if I have the stabilizer off so I don't hit the wall, but when I go and put it on to this table, I run into an issue because the table is too low so my bottom limb ends up hitting on the ground. Uh, the issue with that is it was one it messes up like the alignment of the string and I don't want the bow resting on uh, the bottom limb at the same point in time if I'm trying to make adjustments on the bow uh, you know in a video because this is what this uh, bow vise is going to be for it's going to help me make a couple videos that I really want to make uh, I want to make another video on the uh, chaser archery python and I really need you know, a bow vise that holds the bow in place for that. And then uh, in the long term, I've been trying to make a tuning video, and it's just very hard to explain some of the concepts when your bow is not staying perfectly still. But if I build my own bow vise, I'll be able to mount that to this table and then clamp the bow down to, uh, you know, that that bow vise I made. I know that I know it I know that technically won't be a vise. I'm basically making a wooden table and then clamping the bow down to it. But it's a similar concept. I'm not gonna have the same range of movement as some of these, you know, couple hundred dollar bow vices. But at the same point in time, I'm probably gonna use like ten bucks worth of lumber or twenty bucks worth of just materials in general. Uh, for me, it's going to be completely free because I've already purchased all of these things. But I guess for somebody wanting to, uh, you know, duplicate what I am doing here, uh, it's it's not going to be, you know, that much money. So I, I don't know. I think it's going to be a a worthwhile investment. In I think it's going to be a worthwhile investment of my time. But uh, we will see. Uh, now that I kind of laid that out, and hopefully you have a decent idea. I'm gonna go and grab some wood and see if we can start putting this uh, together. There's probably gonna to have to be some cutting involved. Some of that will probably be done off camera because I'm sure I won't put this together perfectly in the first run, but we will see. This is what happens when you don't uh, take your targets down. <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually put this tarp here over them, but it rained so much it just uh, went right through. So they're all they're all messed up now. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's pick up some wood. All right, so we've got a big old pile of wood here <laughs> behind the garage. Uh, I have a few pieces that I already kind of uh, pre-selected uh, out because you know I, I you know I've been, I've been fiddling around this you know fiddling around with this idea for a little bit and I was trying to see if we, you know, we had wood that was actually going to work. So uh, first piece, I think this is going to be uh, the main board that the bow is going to sit on. 
and then uh, with that we're probably gonna take some like two by fours because I need a ledge that sticks out so that I can uh, get some C clamps and then I'm gonna use those C clamps to fasten uh, you know this little table I guess I'm making to the other table out there that I just showed you and then have enough space still to C clamp uh, the V bar. I have a secondary, I have another V bar, I have a very old V bar that's nice and flat and I'm gonna put that onto the bows that I'm you know looking to make stationary and uh, that is gonna get C clamped down to uh, this big piece of wood that I just showed you. So let me grab a few more pieces and then we'll start having a go at it. Uh, it's probably not going to be the prettiest thing, but uh, I think it's going to I think it's going to do a pretty good job. So let's uh, let's find out. All right, so I found something really cool in this pile of wood, and uh, I think it's gonna save me a ton of time. So I'm gonna take the shortcut. Look at this, oh, look, oh. It's already got a base that I can probably clamp to. Uh, this shelf on top right here that I'm holding is, uh, it's a little small. So then what I'm thinking is, I'll, I'll de oh, yeah, unscrew that, grab a drill, and uh, I'm gonna stick that big, uh, piece of wood the big flat piece of wood on top of that and that'll be the shelf the bow sits on and there still should be plenty of space for my C clamps to work so uh, yeah let's go and uh, you know grab the so uh, let's go and grab a drill gun and see uh, see if we can make this happen and uh, let's head to the shooting shack again So a good place to start is probably moving my bow out of the way first. Because <laughs> you know what happens. You don't move the bow and then you drop something on it and then, you know, then, you, then you're really screwed. But uh, next up, we got the drill gun. So we're going to take apart the top of this one. And honestly, I'm just going to reuse the screws. I don't see uh, any reason not to. Oh, dangerous. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, they're perfectly fine. So, uh, I'm gonna reuse those, that's very nice. Ta da! And now, uh, next up, I think I wanna, I think I wanna pre position this to get an idea on where everything's going to sit. Uh, before I actually mount this top to uh, the bottom base here. Okay, so we got one of our C clamps, and we're gonna, yeah, we got we gotta try to pretend like this is uh, this is the real deal. So I guess I can just clamp it this way. This is the first run, so <laughs> bear with me. Four hours later. Look at that. It's already pretty secure. Now we just need the top on it. I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see about this now. So if I, if I stick it right here, I say like in the middle. I know it, it looks so lopsided, but uh, it is what it is. I could potentially, I could put the bow here and then I should be able to take the clamp and clamp it down from over, you know, in this direction. And of course, we're, we're, gonna, we're going to try this uh, in, in this video. Okay, so let's go and drill this. 
All right, so let's go and screw this down. See how it goes. Anyway, as you can tell, I am no general contractor here. Somebody, somebody's probably cringing really hard <laughs> at my my poor uh, drilling skills and the, uh, the fact that nothing's straight on this. But that is all right because it's still gonna hold the bow beautifully, or hopefully beautifully. Uh, let me grab the bow now, and then I'm gonna give it a go on this uh, on this little jig I set up. Our first, my first. Bow vice. That's not actually a bow vice. It's like a bow clamping table. But anyway. Eh. Alright, so here we go. And aha! We have we have clearance on the bottom. Uh I'm actually gonna mount this upside down, and I'm only doing that because I have the shrewd Rex extension on this bow. Uh for the mount I'm going to use normally, I have a very generic like cartel and then some cheap extension and uh, that'll work perfectly fine. But since I'm actually trying this out with my actual you know, setup that I use at tournaments, uh, yeah, we're going to have to flip it upside down and we're going to take the sight off too. And, oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, the bow's going to be too tall in that uh, direction. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, round two, and that is going to be to put a different uh, V-bar on this riser, or maybe some other riser. Maybe I'll break out the, the Chaser Python. Anyway, it'll be some riser with another mount, and then that way we can actually test to see if this, uh, this table with this second clamp is actually going to work how I think it should work. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uno momento, por favor. That's really bad Spanish. Anyway, sorry. All right. So after a lot of time fiddling around inside, um, I got I got it to work. We got the uh, the cartel V bar that's nice and flat, and then we just have uh, it's probably another cartel just mount that that screws all the way into uh, the riser here. And yes, yeah, I, I broke out the python because it's so much easier than taking apart my uh, you know, competition bow that I've been using. And besides, uh, this is actually uh, one of the bows that I need uh, this like vice or you know, this, this mounting stand or whatever we want to call it. Uh, this is one of the things that I need you know, complete so that I can do uh, a, another video on this riser. So uh, this is like a, this is a perfect opportunity, and yeah, watch this. This 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 is gonna be this is so sketchy. <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. Aha! There we go. We did it. It's, it's, it's really impressive. I am impressed. Okay, well, <laughs> hopefully everybody else got a, a good kick out of that. Uh, it seems to be, uh, to be working really well. It's doing exactly what I want. Yeah, yeah, I know, it still moves some. But, you know, if I do videos about, you know, aligning things or, or whatever, at least it's, it's going to move less than me trying to hold it or the bow just sitting on a table. It's actually mounted to the table, so the only thing that's gonna move now is, no, no, I guess the screws in the tabletop are, are a little loose, but yeah, we'll get to that. Uh, ma massive improvement, though, and uh, yeah, I'm just going, just gonna enjoy this moment. <laughs>
so other than that, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed uh, this little video. I know it's kind of random, but it's kind of like a, like a little adventure because I was going to well, do the same thing anyway, but I figured that I would film parts of it, or at least maybe the more interesting parts of it. So hopefully you found it entertaining and interesting and maybe uh, you know, maybe it's, it's, it's inspiring you to go and do your own uh, you know, DIY thing at home, may that be with archery equipment or, or something else. But uh, with that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if there's a lot of interest in this, maybe I'll refine this idea and actually make a like a like a how-to video. I don't know. It, it's really straightforward. It's basically four pieces of wood, depending on how high you want the the stand to be, and then one's got to be offset from the other so that you can use C clamps. But anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video on it in the future, or. Maybe I won't. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, happy shooting!